In this video, I will show you how you transfer all your information, such as your contacts, your pictures, call log, and text messages, and more things from one Samsung to another using a smart switch app without Wi Fi, only by using SD card. And this is Variety Stick. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. And without any further ado, let's find out. <music> Now, Smart Switch app gives you the option to transfer through cable, through Wi-Fi, and through SD card. I realized the best way to do it through the cable if it's available, and some phone doesn't support the cable, or Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi would take a long time. It depends on your internet speed, so it could take a long time to do it. And some people don't even have Wi-Fi, so the best thing, if you have SD card, just to follow my steps, which is I'm going to explain everything in this video step by step. Now, in order to use the Smart Switch app, we must have Samsung phone because this app made specifically for Samsung. Yes, you can use the app to transfer your information from non Samsung phone to another Samsung phone, but you have to have at least one Samsung phone. But if you want to use the SD card, you must have both Samsung brands. Now I'm going to be moving all my information from this phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy A24. And this phone has my contacts. Here's my recents. Here's my contacts. And also here's my images. I don't have much pictures here because this video only for educational purposes. But you guys, even if you have tons of videos and pictures, you should be able to move them easily with no problem if your SD card is capable for the amount of data you have on your phone. Now the second phone is the Samsung Galaxy A50 and this phone does not have any information whatsoever. As you guys can see, if I go to gallery also, I do not have pictures, I don't have text messages. So we're gonna move everything from my old phone to my new phone, for example, only using the Smart Switch app through the SD card. First, I would highly recommend to log in with your email on both phone. You have a Gmail account on both phone. What would I would recommend? There are a few several ways. You can also download Smart Switch without putting your Gmail account on the phone. But I highly recommend to do the Gmail first. Go to Google Play Store and download the application. And let me show you how you can do this. For instance, this is the phone that we want uh, smart switch to be on. Also, we have to be on the other phone, but you can do the same thing by going to search and then just tap smart switch. You should be able to see the application and then hit install and the application will be installed in your device. You can do the same thing with the other phone. Now, of the other phone, you didn't put your email yet. What you can do, you can also try to go to Samsung store or the Galaxy Store, do the same thing, update the market and search. Sometimes it depends on the model of your phone, maybe you see the app, sometimes it doesn't see the application, but either way, eventually you will be able to download Smart Switch application. Now by going to the old phone, we must insert the SD card on the phone, and I would highly recommend to use SD card doesn't have other information because sometimes you require to format your SD card and also let me show you how you format the SD card now the SD card already inserted on the phone what you need to do go to file manager normally you see within a Samsung folder file manager is here and it should take you over here and the phone also should read the SD card it's going to be down here and my phone is reading my 16 gigs and make sure you have data less than 16 gigs if you have more data make sure to have a bigger size memory and then what you need to do go to three dots over here and try to format it's not like necessary if the phone read the SD card but I highly recommend to do the formatting just before you start and that could take you up to a few minutes or a few seconds it depends on size of the SD card and make sure the phone is reading the SD card correctly. Now we need to open smart switch on both application and make sure to allow give permission for the application allow so make sure you allow because if you don't allow and give permission the phone won't have access to your data and you're gonna have a screen look like this now it's not necessary to open smart switch 
on the new phone yet, but you need to make sure to open it at least on the phone that has your SD card and it has all your information. Now, if you just look here on the top, you're gonna see a logo of SD card. So go ahead and tap here, and then you need to choose backup and you need to choose SD card. And you have to wait. Now, you can say, I want to load everything, which is going to give you 5.8 gigabytes. You can also choose if you want to just the contact messages, uh, not including the pictures, or you can customize it. I would choose everything just to be on the safe side and then hit next. And if the phone gives you to sign into your Samsung account, just hit escape for right now because you could do this later not required to log in with your Samsung device now the phone is going to start back up all the information on the SD card we need to wait till it finish and then I'm going to tell you what you need to do next and once the backup is complete you're going to get the screen and it's also going to show you how many applications you have backed up and also it's going to copy everything from the home screen messages, audios, and other information. So go ahead and tap next, and it tells you all set, hit done. Now the memory card has all the information you need already backed up on that SD card. What we need now, we need to remove this SD card and insert the SD card on this phone and get the information from the SD card to the a new device. Now I highly recommend at this point before you remove the SD card from the phone to completely shut the phone off so that way it will unmount the SD card. So let's go ahead and do this. Press hold on the power key and shut the phone completely off. Once the phone is off, go to the SIM tray where you normally have the SIM tray and the SD card tray. You should have the SD card. Just pop it out. Put the SIM tray back because we no longer need this SD card to be on this phone. I will turn the phone also so that way we can show you side to side comparison after we load the information on the other phone. Also we have to do the same thing. We need to find the SIM tray where we need to install the SD card. This phone you don't need to shut it off because no SD card already inserted so we're gonna go ahead put the SD card make sure to put the SD card correctly insert it all the way and make sure also the phone is reading a new SD card as you guys can see normally the phone will give you a pop-up notification now on the smart switch app which is we have already open go to SD card icon tab you will be able to see your backup you just made and says restore from SD card so what we need to do tab here now it's going to tell you you want everything you should do the same thing hit next and you have to give it several minutes it depends on how much data you have on the phone so we're going to complete the restoration and we come back to you once the restoration is done you're going to get this screen so go ahead and click on go to home screen now the phone automatically is going to start doing optimizing and you're going to see everything going over here if you tap here it's going to show you what's going on this normally could take up to five minutes maybe more maybe less it depends on how much data you have on the phone and after this is complete also we're going to go back and show you everything we have done on this video once the phone finished optimizing you're going to get this screen also go ahead and click next and hit done and I believe we should be good to go, except the application uh, is going to take some time to reinstall because this also requires to have Wi-Fi. But other than that, let me show you a uh, side-to-side -side comparison. First, we're going to open just to see if we got the contacts on both devices. So you guys will see the same contacts we have. Also, if you check the recent calls, we have the recent calls, which is nice. Also, we go and go to the text messages, and you guys are going to see the same messages we have on the old phone, also on the new phone, and we can also check the gallery. 
which is we have also the same pictures or even if you have videos they'll all be the same and also if you go back here you're gonna see that the phone is installing the same application we have on this device like the same games we had so everything will be in the new phone but as I said to reinstall the apps you might need to have either internet service from your provider or a Wi-Fi but the other information you don't also you're gonna get to keep the same information backed up in your SD card if you want and this is optional or you can reformat the SD card so that way nobody else have access to your information I hope this video was helpful for you to transfer your information only by using SD card on smart switch thank you so much for watching if you find it helpful give me thumbs up and subscribe and we will talk to you in the next video let's go yeah I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, gotta